All right, so we're here to review a game that some people might call a bad game. Some people might call it something else, but for now, let's just call it Mighty Bomb Jack. Now, this is a game that is based on a, I think it's an arcade game, and it's a sequel to a game called Bomb Jack, which, let's just, let's just acknowledge the fact that the, in, the initials for this game are, is BJ, which is still a pretty weird name. I mean, Mighty Bomb Jack. What what the fuck does that mean? Well, anyways, in this game, you play as Bomb Jack, and you're in an Egyptian pyramid, and apparently you're trying to fight a demon called Beelzebub. This like Beelzebub, but but change one letter, so it's funny. And pretty much, you're supposed to find some sort of family or something. So, none of this stuff is really explained. I had to look this stuff up. They don't tell you in the game. Well, it's a platformer. It's a 2D platformer for the Nintendo Entertainment System, which was later released on different consoles and is really recently released for the 3DS. Or what's the Wii U? One of those consoles in 2012. This game... is what I could call a game that's... I would want to say that it's too easy? But at the same time, there are parts that are just... just difficult. It's not difficult in the way you'd want it to be, it's difficult in the way that you don't want something to be. This game pretty much has to do with you going through something that you... I, I think might be a pyramid? Maybe? I mean, look at that. D does that look like a pyramid? H have you, I, I haven't been in a pyramid, mind you, but I mean... I'm pretty sure they don't look like that. I mean, you, can, you can just tell these things. Pretty much in the game, you just walk around, and there are these treasure chests. Now, you don't open them by the way you'd expect them to. You jump on the treasure chest. Now, that's a very minor complaint. I mean, you can kind of figure it out yourself, but... One thing that I am very confused about is the bombs. I mean, you're Mighty Bomb Jack, and there's a lot of bombs, and you're like a superhero who's all about bombs. So what do you think you're gonna do with these bombs? Well, you know what the answer is? Absolutely goddamn nothing. You ain't do nothing with those bombs. You collect them like you collect coins in Mario. So pretty much they're completely useless. They're just for points. And then I guess in the mini games you have to collect all of them, but still, they're fucking bombs. They're not money, they're bombs. Bombs are weapons. There are monsters everywhere. You think, hey, I can use this bomb to kill something, but no. You can't. This game, as I was saying, is really easy. Like, there are some levels where it's kind of something, but not really. And in the second level, you just fall to the bottom. Th there's, there's no gameplay here. It's just start and finish. I mean, seriously. W what the fuck is the point here? You, the only thing that's actually somewhat of a challenge is the extra rooms at the end, but they're challenging for the wrong reasons. They're not challenging as in, oh gosh, I'm gonna use my wits to get past this. No, they're challenging as a way of what the fuck just happened. Pretty much what happens is you have to collect all these bombs to unlock the door at the end, then you move on to the next level. Now, at certain points, they will spawn two coins, one with a B and one with a P. I don't know what the B has to do with. I think it might be one of them mighty coins, but I don't fucking know. They don't name any of these things, you just get a thing. And pretty much, you can use like the one with a P on it to change all of the enemies into... Smarties and defeat them. D don't don't ask me why. Speaking of the enemies, they're mummies, which I mean you're in a, you're in a pyramid. Mummies make sense, but then they change into a lobster, a Metroid, a skull, a bird, and it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, come on. You might have had some idea behind that, but we don't understand your idea. We don't. I don't know what's going on there. What the fuck happened? I mean, it's not strange in the way of, oh, that's charming. It's strange in the way of, what the fuck? Why did that mummy change into a parrot? What just happened? Now, also in this game, there's something to do with greed. I didn't actually figure this out. I'm not even sure if I did, but... Pretty much if you collect 9 Mighty Coins, I still don't know what the fuck a Mighty Coin is. Or get 99 seconds on a game timer, you go to a torture room. And 
pretty much you had to complete a certain amount of jumps on the screen to exit it. Why is there a punishment for that? It's like, hey, you collected nine things, you fucking bitch. Okay, it would make sense. It looks good on paper because, it, I mean, the idea of somebody going into Egyptian pyramid and then losing himself to all the treasures and then being punished for the greed, that sounds cool. But the way it's executed in a way that you don't really know, I mean, there was one part of the game, I think it was level four, where I just started jumping from level to level and I was fucking confused because I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, wait, it's so, okay, so part one of the level and then a the minigame. And I went from part one of the level to another level, to another level, to another level, to another level, and I was lost as fuck. I thought, what the hell is going on here? And at some points, I thought that I was going past the same level because, have I said this, but all the levels look pretty much the same. Sure, some things are changing them, but when I first went to that level, I thought, am I in level one? What the fuck's going on here? Why are there palm trees in a fucking pyramid? Seriously! What the fuck? It's awful, and another thing that's very awful, when it's pretty much a game ruiner, is the way that the character jumps. There's no regular jumping, there's no small little hop or anything. When you jump, like you launch like a goddamn catapult is throwing you somewhere on the fucking moon. And it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's just, it's a platformer. Jumping's the most important thing. If you fuck up the jumping, then you got something wrong. I mean, it's just, it might not look that bad, but it doesn't feel too right. It just feels wrong. And also, the absolute thing that makes this game completely and utterly frustrating is how the enemies spawn. You'll just be walking around, minding your own business, la di da di da and then a mummy will spawn right on top of you and kill you. Now, mind you, I'm pretty sure this game only has one life that you get at every single level. So, that means that if you die once, it's game over. You're not going back. I mean, I'm about to recheck that, but seriously. I mean, I was playing on an emulator. The only reason I got that far is because of the fact that I had save states. And think about this, if you're playing this on a regular console and you die like that? And you have to go to the start of the game? Just imagine how frustrated you'd be. All of these things might seem very nitpicky, but you have to remember, this game was sold. This is a game people bought for money. Seriously, just imagine if you went out with like, I don't know how much those games costed back then, I, it wasn't really my time, but you came out with, let's say, like 20 bucks or something like that. And you use it to buy this, thinking that you're gonna have a fun time. You put it in, and then you see this. A title screen with no music. Yep. You fucking wasted your money! You ain't getting that back. No way. I mean, it's not that bad of a game, but... It's just, there are some parts that are way too easy and boring and... It's just, in some parts, it's the easiest and most boring game ever, but on the other side of the coin, it somehow manages to be one of the most tedious and awful games, too. I mean, it's not awful in a fun way, it's awful in a cheap way that's not like... There are some parts where you can't just use your best wits to get out of it. There are some points where if you get into a certain situation, the situation will then change to a point where you can't get out and you will die. It's not like, some points it's not like, oh, I jumped over here because there are monsters and then it's died because it's my fault. Sometimes it's like you jump over here, monsters spawn all around you and then you're doomed. And it's seriously confused on how a game manages to be so easy and yet so difficult at the same time. It's Difficult in the ways it shouldn't be difficult, and easy in the ways it should not be. It just does everything so wrong. So, for my final rating of this game, I have to say that you can have fun with this game. I mean, the controls are pretty tight. It, there are some points that just don't make any sense. Like, when you get the mighty coin, it's actually this one thing that says... It actually has a picture of your character on it, but some darker version of the character. Like, your Batman or something. And it makes your character glow blue, which is never explained. I still don't know what it does. It doesn't make you invincible. You can't hit any of the characters. You're just... You're just blue. 
so I don't know why that's good, but... It, the game has some endearing qualities, I'll admit, but overall, it just doesn't make any sense and can get pretty tedious in some points. I mean, not tedious in the way you want a game to be, but tedious in a way that's just... Well, tedious. That's the best explanation ever. So, overall, I'd probably give this game something around a 4.5 out of 10. It's not the best game, but it's not really the worst game. There is fun to be had here, but there are better games for the NES.